Hello everyone, there is another video for you. As you can see, this is Dell XPS 15 9500 model. Recently, I upgraded the SSD, so I don't have any system in here. So today in this video, I'm gonna get into BIOS, change couple of settings for Windows 11 into the BIOS, and then I'll reinstall Windows 11 from a bootable USB thumb drive, okay? All right, so when you install Windows 11, regardless which brand or models of the laptop, uh, three things you have to be care about. First of all, the TPM has to be enabled. And then second one is the secure boot has to be enabled. And when you turn on the secure boot, it's by default the UEFI boot type get turned on. But some sort of laptop include uh, Dell, Acer, they do have legacy option as well. So if your laptop preset up by legacy option, then even if you turn on the secure boot enable, you have to manually turn on the UEFI as well. Once you've done these three, and if you have the correct bootable device, I mean bootable Windows 11 thumb drive, everything would be perfect. So this video would help you to know how to set up your BIOS due to reinstall Windows 11 include secure, secure boot and also UEFI plus TPM setup. So as you can see there is no system. So first I'm going to turn this off by holding the power button and turn it on and keep pressing F2 to get into BIOS. Thanks to Dell to keep always same button for BIOS which is F2 and that's the main screen for BIOS as you can see. Uh, the setup is more friendly to UEFI rather than legacy because this is quite latest model from Dell XPS. So first of all, we need to get into security and boot security. So let's get into security first. And now the top option, as you can see, it says TPM 2.0. If your one is disabled, then you have to turn it on. Once you see the blue light, it's turned on. And then rest of them should be fine. but you can leave this option key storage enable uh, off. You don't have to change anything in here. And then pretty much that's all. You don't need to worry about anything else. Okay, you can leave it on. And once it's done, then as you can see, it says zero changes. The reason is the TPM was enabled from the default. Okay, if anything changes, it's gonna show you in the brown amber light at the bottom. Now the boot sequence, as you can see, it says off. So I have to turn this on. And now can you see there is one changes, okay? So if you see anything here, one or two, that's mean you changed the settings from the previous one, okay? So once the secure boot is done, pretty much that's all. We're gonna save it by apply changes and press okay to change this one. And that would be absolutely ready for Windows 11. Now the system would restart. Now you can press F2 to get into temporary boot or the system should automatically choose this. As you can see, my USB is flashing because this model, as I said, is quite latest and that is always friendly and ready for UEFI rather than legacy. Okay, if it doesn't come out by itself, then you manually have to press F2 to get into temporary boot and select it manually your bootable USB uh, Windows installation thumb drive. So now let's check out. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. If you see this sort of circle, that is quite positive. Here you go. Now, as you can see, it shows the Windows 11 setup page. We, you have to choose whatever you want to choose, either language import, time and currency settings. And this setup is similar to Windows 10. But anyway, I'm going to keep the journey until the end to finish the video and show you a successful installation, which is Windows 11 in Dell XPS 15 9500.
so the windows 11 installation in dell xps 15 has done and everything is pretty much simple and working cool still if you do have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section and please do subscribe if you do like this video thanks for your support and i hope i'll see you in the next one bye for now thanks for watching